Creating printed circuit boards is an engineering discipline and as such it has its own language. In the next few lectures you'll learn the most commonly used term so that you can understand the information found in places such as PCB fabrication websites and CAD tool documentation. Let's begin with this lecture and have a look at the FR4 which is the most commonly used material for making PCBs. FR4 is a glass reinforced epoxy laminate composite material or in simpler terms fiberglass cloth bound using an epoxy resin. You can find more information about FR4 in Wikipedia and here's a URL for that. The FR part of the name stands for flame retardant, an obviously desirable quality for a board that will hold together components that can potentially ignite when they fail. Other useful attributes of the FR4 are that it's very light and strong, it does not absorb water, it is an excellent isolator and it maintains its quality in dry and humid environments alike. Apart from the standard FR4 and variants like FR4 tracking resistant and halogen free, there are other materials that can be used in rigid or flexible printed circuit boards. Examples include HTG or high TG, which is appropriate for applications that operate in high temperatures, paper-based materials with PF resins, aluminium, or various kinds of TG rigid and flexible boards. In the image in this slide, you can see a cross-section of a PCB. This cross-section includes the PCB itself and a component that we've also cut in order to see uh, this view. So the, the component is up the top of the image is an integrated circuit and it's connected or attached to the PCB using those pads. And you can see three of the pads that are used in this view. This bit in the middle of the PCB is the actual fiberglass material and right on top of it and below it, below that um, brown looking section, you can see the copper uh, in the kind of a reddish color and then the solder mask as well which are the green edges at the very top and the very bottom of the PCB itself. On the other side, we've got an example of a via. So a via is a hole in the PCB that electrically connects, the, in this case, the two layers, the top copper layer and the bottom copper layer. It is hollow and you can see that there is copper covering the sides of this hole. Uh, we're going to look at vias later on uh, in this section. I've got a lecture dedicated to vias. Now let's continue in the next lecture where we'll have a look at traces.